morning, good morning everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 17 and 18. And then he adds, I will never again remember their sins and lawless deeds. Now when sins have once been forgiven forever and forgotten, there is no need to offer more sacrifices to get rid of them. We serve an all-powerful, all-knowing, and ever-all-present God, and God commands us to forgive others as he has forgiven us. So what is this forgiveness that God provides and requires of us? When God forgives our sins and we commit it against him, he doesn't completely. And the Bible says our sins are not only forgiven, but they are also forgotten. True forgiveness renders the offender not guilty. And the verdict of our words and behavior toward that person must be as if the crime had never been committed. And so if God knows everything at all times, and there is no failure nor lack of memory in him, the question remains, does God forget? And the answer is no. God never forgets anything however God chooses not to remember. For God says, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. In that he says, a new covenant. He has made the first obsolete. When God erases our sins, we no longer need a sin offering. The entire sacrificial system is unnecessary. The single offering of Christ has wiped out the need for the old sacrificial system and has introduced a new era. Christ himself fulfilled the message that God intended the sacrifice to proclaim. Anyone who wants forgiveness of sins can find access by placing a repentant faith in the completed work of Christ. Christ's sacrifice was God's final answer to the universal problem of human sin. And since you have been given and chosen God who has given you this new life and because of his deep love and concern for you you should practice tender-hearted mercy and kindness to others be gentle and ready to forgive never holding a grudge remember the Lord forgave you so in the same way you have been completely forgiven you must forgive and forget the sins of others against you thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.